Okay, so it says in general, blank percent of the values in a data set lie at or below the 60th percentile. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of map out what, what they're talking about. So a 60th percentile, so that would be a ranking. You know, it's always a ranking from zero to 100. But if you're getting the 60th percentile, you're just past halfway, maybe, maybe right around there. So your score is right there. So what does that mean if you got, you know, between zero and 100, you got 60 percentile. That means 60% are below you and 40% are above you, huh? So 60% are at or below is what that means. Now on this next one, it's saying you got 98 percentile. So again, I'm gonna do a ranking from zero to 100, because that's what percentile always means, zero to 100. If you got 98, then you did super well on that exam. You're at the 98th percentile, which means what? There's only 2% above you and 98% of the people that got below you, right? Only a little, only a few people got like, only the crazy super geniuses got higher than you. And most people got below you. If you're at the 98th percentile, that means a ranking from zero to 100, you're way up the scale. At 98, only 2% above. They're asking what percentage are at or above. So since they said above, that's going to be 2%, isn't it? 2% or above. See, the last one, the last one said below. So that was why 60% were below. But if they say above, well, that's 2% or above 98. Okay. And now in the next question, same kind of thing. We're going to do a percentile again. And we know percentile goes between zero and 100. And you got the 42nd percentile. So that would be just below the middle, about right there. 42% along the way. <clears throat> so if you got it the 42 percentile, what does that mean? Well, that means 42% are below and how many are above? How would I find the above? I have to subtract from 100, huh? 100% 100 minus 42% is 58. So 58% are above. Well, I don't, we don't even need to figure that out, do we? I don't know why I'm bothering that. Doesn't matter. Don't, don't, don't bother with that. I mean, it, it's true, but it's not even needed. Here, I'll put it back, but it's not needed. Because what are they asking? They're asking below, at or below 42nd. Well, there's 42% below, but it, but it wants, this time it doesn't want a percentage. See how in the last two questions, it wanted percentage. Here it wants of them, meaning number of tests. In a sample of 700 test scores, how many of them would be at or below? So we need the number. Well, it's 42% of the 700 scores. Are you with me so far? Right? So in other words, a percentile is a ranking system from zero to 100. If you're at the 42 percentile, that means you're 42 percent along the way, 42 percent are below you. So it's saying, well, okay, so if that's 700 test, well, that's like the whole elementary school took this test and your child scoring at the 42 percentile how many, how many of the test scores, how many of the scores for the 700 test scores, how many of them would be at or below? Well, 42% of the 700, 42%. Of, now, what does of always mean in math? It means multiply. So I got to take 0.42 times 700, right? Because they, they want me to come up with the actual number of test scores. Hit the buttons on your calculator. That equals 294 for mine for mine anyway <clears throat> 294 of the test and that that makes sense that's just under half half would be 350 right half of 700 would be 350 so that's just under half 42 percent that seems reasonable 294 of the 700 tests would be at or below the 42 percentile mark and then the last part is is similar 
it's again a ranking system from zero to 100 <clears throat> and 68th percentile. <clears throat> so where's that? Well, that's about, I don't know, about right here. A little past half, right? So if you're at the 68th percentile, then what does that mean? Well, that means that 68% are below you, right? If you're at the 68th percentile mark. And how many are above you? Well, again, you have to strike from 100. 100 minus 68 is 32. So 32% are above you. So if you got at the 68, if you took some test, you got 68 percentile, 32% are above you, but, but they don't, they don't want, they're asking them at or above, but they want test scores. So we're going to say, oh, so this section, 32% uh, of the 700 scores, 32% of the 700 scores are going to be at or above the 68 percentile mark. 32% of the 700 scores. So that's going to be 0. 0.32 of means times, always means times in math. Good, good thing to tell younger folks, of always means times. So multiply 0. 0.32 times 700, 32% of the 700 test scores, that's 224. So 224 <clears throat> of the 700 test scores would be at or above the 68 percentile mark. And so there we go.